It is your boy, Jake Goble, back at it again for Orange Cactus Coffee. Another uh, coffee tasting, something or othering, 20 grams of coffee, 60 grams of water. That's what we're looking for. Uh, 65, day 21, day 21, day 21. Guatemala, Las Nueces. First day of winter. That's right. This is the winter solstice, huh? seems like it should be gloomier than it is but it's actually plenty gloomy out there so yeah got this guatemala las nueces nueces i don't know got it on espresso i think i under extracted it it went a little too fast and i've got it on v60 here i'm trying to i didn't bring the spoon so we'll see how it goes maybe i can mess with it a lot, agitate a lot, irritate it a lot. I always think that when they say agitate the coffee or agitate it, you know, like, oh, so irritate it. Like it's bought, like I'm bothering it. Like I'm bothering the coffee. I'm talking too much. The coffee's like, just brew it. Just brew. Just brew. We don't need your commentary over here. And that's what it's thinking. All right. All right. Getting all the kids in the pool all the wallflowers off the wall and onto the dance floor and we're going to take this up to 300 grams there we go quick turn around and dirty swirly give it the swirling vortex of awesome yeah we got to try and slow this thing down I, maybe it's just the coffee you know some coffees they just brew a little faster i even ground it a little finer reminded me of uh I adjusted the grind setting on my espresso grinder, and it reminded me of this time that I went to Sensational Coffee out in Surprise, Arizona. It was a football game, and I wanted coffee, and I was trying a bunch of different coffees. I've got to review some of it somewhere. But the guy, the guy, the owner, I was asking, you know, questions like, oh, what kind of espresso do you use? What do you, you know? He's like, oh, we, we get our espresso from Oregon. Like, oh, okay. Like, and obviously, the, it didn't grow in Oregon, but the roaster is in Oregon, right? So he's like, we get it from Oregon, Portland. And I was supposed to be impressed by that. And then he says, we grind ours just a little finer, just a little bit finer. And I was like, oh, yeah, that is sealed the deal for me. You grind your coffee just a little bit finer than the competition. Good. Thanks. Good talk. So obviously, he didn't know. You know, I was trying to add talk origin. Um, I mean, even if you wanted to talk grind settings, it would have been fine, but he was like a little finer. This is a washed pacas from Nuevo Oriente in Jalapa. Yeah, good. So I've, I've enraged, enraged the poor Guatemalans by mispronouncing their coffees, but I got it or their regions. This is pretty dang good. That is pretty dang good. That is a great bed. We are just at three minutes. So if I messed up on the espresso, I think I redeemed myself on the V60. Reminds me of Dumb and Dumber, right? Where Jim Carrey comes back on the, on the little motorcycle and the mini bike. You totally redeemed yourself. Let's give it a taste. Espresso. Kind of a chocolate covered berry, maybe a chocolate covered strawberry, chocolate covered blueberry, something along those lines, chocolate covered something, a berry with chocolate, but not like the dipped ones, you know what I mean? Not like the dipped, but the ones that look like little balls that you can buy in a bag. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Chocolate cup. Let's go chocolate covered cherries. That's what we're going to go with. Chocolate covered cherries. Same. Wow. Surprisingly, it's a really good coffee. Totally. I was totally taken aback. It wasn't hit with the smell. Thought I messed up the espresso, but this is really delicious.
And I'm going to say I like it better out of the open. As always, Tim Wendell Bow Mugs, that's the split. This is the open. And this is the tulip. But this, I think this is my favorite. 